Hello, I was watching this video by Seamus Plugs a while ago. Let's watch it together a little bit. So first of all, in this video he was checking out less verb and I also made a little bit of a video about how I used less verb to make uh, techno kicks or more like the rumble of the techno kicks with a nice feed feature. But there is also a comp filter in here that can be used to dial in feedback on the sound because this is part of a spring reverb thing and yeah they are working with feedback like most reverbs. But then suddenly this happened, an instance of Greylon and not only that. <laughs> an instance of spot on. So two vocal tuners in this effect chain after less verb and then a bunch of other stuff that makes it very diffused and stuff. I was thinking to myself, okay, this is like an atmospheric sound. It is um, like an ambient sound, like a pad or so. Definitely not something where a plugin like autotune would work on because it would just get confused about the pitch with all of the noise everywhere. So I asked what's going on there and I was explained that at the moment where the sound comes out of less verb you can only really hear the feedback. So the feedback is mostly a single frequency so you can tune it. And that's what I want to try today as well. Okay, nice. Um, so I will just copy the chords for now. Solo. And now I need some noise. Okay, perfect. Now next up, I could of course use less verb, but the thing is, it has too many extra features in here that I don't want to use. I am only interested in the feedback part, which is why I use Rift Feedback Lite. And that's pretty cool because usually when I load this plugin, I only want to feed MIDI into it to define the pitch, which is why I made this my default setting. But this is actually a moment in which I want to approach this differently. So I go into the... Um, Yeah, this mode. Now I just have to m make sure that it's quite enough going out of there with lots of feedback. I once learned a nice trick in a video that you can actually map the playback state to a parameter in Bitwig. So I can do something like this and now only when I'm playing back the project it will dial in the feedback that is constantly coming out of Rift Feedback Lite. That's pretty nice. You can see it in the analyzer. There is still some feedback going on, but it's quite enough for not being in the way for us now. Now I need an instance of an autotune-ish plugin that can use MIDI inputs, because otherwise, why would I have the chords here, right? Let's start by trying Kirui. <laughs>
I wanna hear that in the mix. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I like this method. <laughs> 